was that about? I really like Halloween but I'm a bit of a chicken and this this light business is not helping today. For Halloween this year I want to create a sugar school look with a custom made dress. And if you saw the haul I made a few weeks ago, you saw the different materials I'm going to use and I'm going to add a lot of volume to the skirt and the top bit will have loads of tulle on top. And these are my materials. I have this fabric, it's a bit see-through but it doesn't really matter because I have something to put underneath it and it has these different colors and a bit of a golden tone to it and then I have an orange tool I bought uh, for the top area and I also have this uh, curtain material that I'm going to use as a petticoat and the zipper to make the petticoat we're going to fold our fabric sew it together and then sew a ruffle at the bottom main skirt we're going to do the same but without the ruffle and sew it to the petticoat we're going to gather the top and sew it to the skirt at the zipper and for the shoulder bit we're going to cut a whole piece of tulle with a hole for the head and add some nice ribbon to finish and the first thing I'm going to do is to make the petticoat it's going to be really easy because I'm going to make a rectangle of fabric with a gathered top and uh, at the bottom, 30 centimeters from the floor, I'm going to make another ruffle so it has more volume. And remember that the easiest way to measure yourself is with the measuring tape upside down. So the zero is to the floor and then you measure yourself with confidence. I've just on the main skirt and it is the same as the petticoat. It's a rectangle of fabric gathered on top and what I did with this one is to open a sort of codet and I'm going to insert some tool in it. And the top bit is going to be quite simple. I'm going to put the fabric horizontally so I can play a bit with the design, with the pattern and then I'm going to wrap it around to see how it's going to look. It's going to be folded because it's quite see-through but it doesn't really need a structure because uh, the top is going to have two to support it so it's going to be fine. And then I'm going to add the zipper. I'm still feeling quite, I don't know, it's a bit spooky down here at night isn't it? Oh and the lights again. Hmm.
because I don't want any seams to be because I don't want any seams on the shoulders I'm going to make the two in a whole piece and for that I'm going to measure the width of my shoulders and then from the neckline to the backline we're going to cut our tool with these measurements fold it until I get triangles and cut a bit that is going to be half the measurement of our neck and that way we can get the dress through and we have no seams and now I'm going to cut a few more stripes of tool so I can gather it and put it on the neckline change of plans the tool is a bit thicker uh, than the one I bought for the top I did a few months ago I leave you the link around and it doesn't let me gather it so I'm going to not use it instead I'm going to use this beauty I bought exactly for this project and I'm going to sew it all around the neckline and delve it And that's it for the Halloween special. <laughs> I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you at least laughed a little. I was really scared when I was doing it. So I hope you, you had fun. <laughs> the fabrics I chose were really difficult to sew. The two fabrics were really slippery and the two was the opposite was really thick, really stiff and I couldn't do the, the garland I wanted so I don't know, I'll have to use it in another project, I don't know when but I'll use it somehow. So I hope you've enjoyed it, I hope you had fun and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss anything next week. Bye!